damn man now i i have to say something bro i don't know if you guys delete my video um but what you guys are doing this is so unprofessional this is just not fair to me hey guys Oi Bang is back once again but now with a reaction video today i'm gonna be talking about something really serious um from a fan perspective democracy believer from my freedom of speech i know that this video probably gonna go against a lot of people's opinion but this is freedom of speech you know so i don't know if this video is gonna be deleted by anybody uh, before someone do this i would just say that if you want if you agree with me after watching this video you just download this video if you want to share it on facebook somewhere you just share it because i'm not really sure if this video is going to be in my youtube okay this is about world muay thai organization banned mr Thiago Teixeira, the brazilian fighter who is representing kunkamai martial art nowadays he was banned from World Muay Thai organization. As you guys know that before a week there was a championship in Germany where Thiago fought against uh, Joe from UK and they are claiming that his behavior in that match before and after wasn't really good the way they expected. What they are claiming is uh, his action before and after the fight, we found his behavior to bring the sport of Muay Thai into disrepute. <laughs> okay. And also, his actions were politically motivated. Okay. Fundamentally unsportsmanlike, aimed at degrading the national sports of Thailand and inciting hate. <laughs> Now, this is really funny to me, bro. No, honestly, this is really funny to me. And because of that, he was banned from World Muay Thai Organization for any kind of future events. And his belt is going to be taken back and his prize money is not going to, he's not going to get that money. And he's officially stripped. They officially stripped Mr. Thiago from WMO world title. Really, nigga? This is really funny, bro. This is really funny. What are you talking about, man? Well, let me talk about a few things, guys. I understand that they must have some points about uh, Thiago being representing uh, Cambodia, especially with wearing their pants, uh, waving their flag. Uh, even after the fight, his status and everything go against the Muay Thai. I mean, like talking about 16 million people in Cambodia for supporting me instead of saying Muay Thai or instead of saying Thailand. I think that must be their point that the, you are a champion of Muay Thai. Why are you talking about Cambodia and why are you are waving Cambodian flag and saying 16 million people of Cambodia. Thank you. Thanks all of you guys. So they, they, they must have some points, but I don't really find this point so strong to ban somebody forever from any kind of future events and taking his belt back, not giving him his you know, prize money, even making trouble to get get him out from Germany. That's not really a big reason. That's not really enough to ban this man from this World Muay Thai organization. Now, let me tell you a few things, guys. The people who banned him, I think you guys already knew that he is not part of Muay Thai anymore. He's representing Cambodia and he's representing Khun Khmer. I mean, I came to know about him new I didn't know this man before even a month. If I know that he is representing Cambodia now, he is representing Khun Khmer now, how you didn't know? You're gonna say, oh, I didn't know it. No, you knew it. You knew it. Before even this fight, you see his post. He was traveling around Angkor Wat, going different places. He is talking about how Khun Khmer is the mother of all kind of martial arts in Southeast Asian countries. So that should go against your opinion that time you knew that this guy is not a part of Muay Thai anymore. He's representing Kun Kamai. So why why did you call him and you know uh, take him to Germany for fighting Muay Thai when you already know that all he loves is Kun Kamai nowadays? And there is another thing: can he actually represent Kun Kamai? Why not? It's his opinion. I know that he was supporting, he was representing Muay Thai for a long, long time. That time there was no problem. But why, if he is? 
representing Kun Kamai. A love in Kun Kamai, a martial art, they are all about experiment. Probably they are going to go into Taekwondo, they are going to go into Muay Thai, Kun Kamai, whatever they feel like, you know. He has been part of Muay Thai for a long, long time and now he wants to learn, he wants to get the techniques of Kun Kamai that what he's doing already and you knew it. If you knew it, why did you, you know, take him there and you know that he's going to be the champion because he's in his best position of his health wise. I mean, uh, he's, he's one of the most wonderful fight nowadays. So if you knew it, you took him there and he won that fight and after that you are making this problem. Even before the fight, you saw that he was going into the ring with Cambodian flag and Cambodian pants. At that time also you could talk to him. Or before even the fight, you could talk to him like, Yo bro, we see that you are representing Kun Kamai, this and that, whatever, but you are here for Muay Thai championship, so you must fight Muay Thai and represent Thailand and Muay Thai. I think they could talk about it before the fight. Before the fight, Thiago gave, gave a lot of hint that he is no nowhere in uh, Muay Thai. I mean, why, why you guys didn't do it? Let's say the guy from England, he won the match and he was waving his flag and telling his people that, okay, I love all the people from my country thanks all of them i mean misconduct that's what they mean right so if he was waving his flag instead of uh, thailand flag would you do the same i mean you're gonna take it back the belt you're gonna take it back his prize money is gonna be stopped you're gonna you're gonna ban him from the organization i mean would you do the same if he was joe and you know waving his flag and saying thanks to his people would you do the same once again another thing what he will represent it his wish the way he wants he will be thanking to the people of argentina brazil cambodia america europe whoever who the fuck he wants you know what i mean i mean after the fight if his behavior wasn't good just because he is you know thanking to the wrong people he can do it to anybody that he wants and he can represent any fight that he wants if you go to mma all the fighters you see they are representing different different fight they are fighting but just for thanking somebody just for representing one form of martial art i don't think that they will ban anybody that's just so funny to me bro anyway at the end man i mean this is my opinion i'm a fan of tiago and i'm a fan of kun kamai i'm a fan of uh, muay thai or any kind of martial art combat fight i'm a fan of that so from that perspective if somebody did it to muay thai also i would be saying the same thing so don't hate me for that the people who are gonna be hating me and probably i'm ignorant about a lot of things i don't know a lot of things but all i did is just reading what they claimed yeah the fans they can have a lot of different things people can have a lot of different opinion but all i read is what they claimed here that before after his behavior wasn't good he he, he put thailand into uh, disrepute and it was politically motivated what do you mean guys He's from Brazil. He's not a Cambodian one. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. So when he was representing Muay Thai, also he was politically, you know, what they said, politically motivated. What do you mean? I, that just don't make sense to me. What they said, fundamentally unsportsmanlike. Damn man. Now I, I have to say something, bro. I don't know if you guys delete my video. Um, but what you guys are doing, this is so unprofessional. This is just not fair to me. I mean, I think you are proving yourself what the word unsportsman like. Another thing is, if you keep banning people like this, I don't think that it's going to bring reputation uh, in your organization. There will be many fighters who will just not be arrested doing this. So I think it's just not fair. They should give his reputation back, his belt back, money back and whatever. This uh, banning him, this is just illogical to me.